I was sent this Reddit thread, and this speaks to where things are going socially with these guys, these young males that are in school and they are displaying early that they do not respect women. So you, if they do not respect women in more of authority figures like their teacher, how will they respect women and girls of their peer group? Is going to be interesting because I am seeing girls, young girls and young ladies more assertive in their abilities and more fervent about demanding equality and equity. So it's going to be something to behold to watch these groups come forth. So this woman is dealing with misogyny as a teacher from young boys. She says, I'm a substitute teacher to school boys and girls ages 10 to 15. That's how young, 10 to 15 in middle school and in the process of getting a master's degree in education. I feel like I've already noticed the effects of misogyny and over-sexualization towards us school teachers. So many of the boys that I teach are lost causes. So many of them are squandering their education because they're so consumed with degrading and putting down both women that teach, most of us are women at that school, and their female classmates. They disrespect us and don't listen at all. They're usually very disruptive and don't respect any female authority figure or any woman for that matter. They are so consumed with asserting their masculinity and their dominance. It frustrates me because they will literally sit there, not learn anything, and become more and more angry with how educated and outperformed performing the girls are around them are becoming. The fact that these kids are 10 to 15 and they are acting like this, imagine what is going to happen when they are college age or, you know, the age where it's time to start setting themselves up for um, their jobs and careers is going to be bad because they have allowed misogyny to cloud um, their judgment and jack up their own education. And they're going to become angrier and angrier. Because women and girls are still going to be succeeding because so far, women and girls are the ones that are outpacing enrollment when it comes to um, going into colleges and stuff. So it's going to be something to behold. She continues, a lot of them I've noticed watch Andrew Tate and Sneeko videos and repeat the same misogynistic talking points. I often hear very sexist and homophobic remarks from them, and it's disheartening because these boys are so young. I also catch them staring at my backside when I'm turned away or they try to look under my skirt by dropping their pencil. I've also heard in the hallways of them referring to me as that big booty substitute and has subconsciously changed the way I dress around them, um, <clears throat> dressed around my students, and I rarely wear skirts. I've noticed that when I meet the parents of some of these boys, I immediately get it because the parents always have this attitude of, you know how boys are when you talk about their son's behavior. They're, the fathers are usually not present or not really involved in their children's lives, so they don't have a positive male figure at home. It's just so scary that nothing will be done about it. I have no faith in, these, in this generation's future of these boys. Now, when we talk about there needs to be more male guidance, there, we know that there's not. Let's be real. And they are consuming this male content because there is a vacuum of male mentors. So all these dudes getting on social media and degrading women all the time is seeping into the subconscious of um, of the boys. And it is making the women and the girls hardened against these messages. So there, I talked about this yesterday on my YouTube channel. There is going to be a widening gap between the men and the um, and the women as we go further, because the women are going to be like, "Yes, I can do this on my own. No, you're not going to control me. We are equal partners." And the men of you know the next generation are going to be like. I am control. Respect my authority. That's where it's going to be. I'm not going to get into the comment section because this is basic. I think we know where this is headed. Many of us have the have similar um, testaments of things that we have seen. We've seen the men do it. So it should be no surprise that the boys are now doing it. If you guys have any um, stories of your own, you want to drop it in the comment section. Please do so. 
like, comment, share. And if you are a follower of my content and you haven't yet hit that follow button, please do so. Y'all have a good one.